What's up guys, I'm Kyle. You're watching Driving and Vibing. Today, Olivia and I are gonna be talking about upcoming travel plans, some baby info, and also uh, just some unexpected things that we've learned about the Airstream in the first two, really two weeks living in it. So, stay tuned. Welcome back to our channel everyone. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We are actually on the way to the dog park right now. River has been loving it here since we've been set up at the RV park in the new rig. But just because we are at RV park and we're done with the renovation by no means means that we've been uh, chilling. We have been chilling, but there has been a lot of stuff still to do. Comparatively, we have um, really knocked down uh, a lot of things that have been on our plate since the renovation is done, but getting moved in is a whole chore <laughs> in itself. Getting used to where everything is going to go, um, organizing baby stuff, preparing for the baby, um, and just kind of trying to settle back in into a normal routine has been a little yeah, bit harder than we expected. One of the main things that has really stuck out to us in this transition is that even though the Airstream is bigger and it feels bigger, we notice how small it is. It's more than the fiber stream for some reason. Not more than the fiber stream to me, but it definitely is. I think especially while not everything is in its place and we're still kind of organizing and we have stuff spread out everywhere, a lot of our surfaces aren't clear yet. So yeah. it kind of is like moving into a house and you have a ton of boxes around. I told Kyle the other day that I've just bring, been bringing in box after box <laughs> and bag after bag and I bet our neighbors are like, what are they doing with all this stuff? Where is it going? Where is it fitting? Um, and slowly we've been able to kind of go through all of that and get it where it goes and so let's go play with the dog real quick we're almost at the dog park and then we'll let you know kind of what our travel plans are looking like over the next few months and we got to go to a baby shower today too so <laughs> let's get river some exercise though Well, that definitely wore River out. She absolutely loves those uh, <laughs> games of catch. Yeah, especially this squeaker ball. She's not a big fan of bringing it back to us. She <laughs> likes to play keep away at the end. Uh, so we're all pretty tired after this dog park visit. But to get back to a few things about the Airstream that we've changed up or that we've loved, I have to say I was able to convince Olivia that we needed a Google Home device. <laughs> I didn't know if she would go for it or not. The big thing was that we just needed a new Bluetooth speaker in general. So having a smart speaker in our home has proven to be entertaining at least. Yes, definitely. And it, it is so much nicer to not have to uh, get up and mess with the volume. We can control it all either with our voice or on our phone. And uh, so we'll see how we like it going forward. That was. Yeah. One thing Kyle snuck into the buggy when we were in Target last night. It does have a uh, button for the microphone to be turned off in case you're worried about privacy. I'm not convinced that that button's for anything other than show, but uh, <laughs> let us know what you think about those smart speakers in your house because we're excited about it, but we also know we potentially compromise some privacy. Yeah, but what's new? Our phones, <laughs> you know, are logging all our data anyway. Yeah. So um, I don't know how how much we're actually losing that we haven't already. <laughs> Two other things that Olivia has loved with the Airstream, and I've loved myself, uh, ice. Ice is awesome. That yeah. is something we've never had before. Yeah, so uh, in our other mini fridge, we didn't really have a freezer. It was just kind of that compartment above the fridge, and it didn't ever really get cold enough to keep things frozen, really. So 
you know, we don't have an ice maker, it's just <laughs> ice trays, but still, it's nice to be able to have some ice when you want it. Most definitely. Especially in our like big insulated cups that we take with us everywhere. I always have a giant cup of ice water with me wherever I go. And so I would have been really sad if um, I wasn't able to uh, have some ice, and especially then, in this oh, summer down here. It. There's been heat advisories like every week, heat index like 110. <laughs> it's, been, it's been rough for the, the pregos down here in Alabama. The other thing that uh, Olivia has loved, obviously she knew she was gonna love the uh, deep set sink, mm -hmm. but our freaking drying rack from the Airstream fits perfectly on that sink. Yeah, so I was worried um, it would be either too small, um, well, mostly too small in that it wouldn't go like uh, over the hole, like the sink is under set under the counter and I didn't know if that inset thing would kind of interfere with things unless I got a much bigger one that went on top that went over the counter part, but it actually fits the inset perfectly. Yeah, like so exactly. snug. Exactly. <laughs> so that's really nice because then I can just roll that up and put it out of the way and I don't have to have a huge drying rack on the counter. So let's go put Riv up and then we can talk about some travel plans. So we got cleaned up a little bit after our excursion to the dog park and we are on the way to my baby shower now and um, it's going to be at Kyle's mom's house. All of our family is on the way there now. and We did have a super fun one though last week too. Yes, yeah, so this is actually um, the second one we've had uh, but we've got a big family. The first one uh, we threw on the 4th of July actually so all of our um, cousins and family that's came in from out of town could be a part of it it was very like casual just kind of mixed in with the fourth of july festivities and it was really fun and uh so this one is a little bit smaller more intimate gathering at kyle's mom's house with just our close family and friends and we thought we'd talk a little bit about travel a lot of y'all asked us you know what are our travel plans before the baby or once the baby arrives and um, while we would have liked to take in a trip in the Airstream, we have just been doing so many classes and stuff like that since we finished the renovation yeah. that we couldn't really break away from this area. But we definitely have plans to travel in the future. Yeah. We had thought that maybe we would do like a little baby moon type week trip in July after the renovation was over. But honestly, there was still so much to do as far as just getting moved into the Airstream. Um, so we kind of just wanted to get settled and get into a routine and and feel comfortable in our rhythm by the time the baby comes and like kyle said we've been taking all the classes that um, our local hospital offers so we uh, did our infant cpr one last time and then to, tomorrow we have our birth basics class um, and then just tons of doctor's appointments obviously right here at the end and we'll be going every week, I think, after yeah. our next appointment. So everything's just kind of really gearing up for the baby to come. And it's been crazy. Like, obviously, we've been very aware of her and her coming. But we've also had the distractions of the renovation and our Vibe and Weekend event, which was so much fun. Thank you, everyone who came to that. We had a blast, and we hope you did, too. Um, but now... It's like all of our attention can finally be focused on the baby and on just kind of mentally preparing ourselves of how our life is going to be changing. And yeah, so, and with that, it, we don't want to set any like very hard travel plans in the immediate future. We, we have been so inspired by Heath and Alyssa mm -hmm. watching them with their newborn baby and how they took a trip to Colorado only maybe a month after they had the mm -hmm. baby. Those are things we're open to in trips, uh, you know, as as we feel comfortable. And it's yes. definitely 
our passion and our goal to get out of the hot, humid Alabama. But, you know, we also don't want to set ourselves up for failure and make us, you know, feel like we have to be pressured to take these trips. Yeah, so we are going to totally, like, take it at our own pace. The baby is due to arrive mid-August, um, and so I'm sure that first month we're going to feel kind of like shut-ins as we... Uh, just figure everything out and recover and all of that good stuff and just spend that time really bonding and spending time together and getting to know our little ones so after that then I think we're probably going to get a little more antsy and want to take trips and even if we just go 30 minutes away down to the beach for a week yeah. that could be a fun little like practice run getaway and then as we feel more comfortable start moving further and further out but I do imagine that we will stay pretty regionally yeah. um, for the first six months at least um, we I'd like to see some leaves change in Nashville or North yeah, Alabama even like things like that so many options we are wide open to um, kind of whatever we're feeling at the time, but we're not going to set any expectations for ourselves. We want to be able to take it slow and easy, really find our travel rhythm with the baby. We know we'll be traveling much slower, probably taking a lot more stops, um, but that's fine. We yeah. kind of like that mode of travel anyways. And then kind of what's been on our radar of the first big thing that we want to do is around January, ish we were thinking about going down to the keys for maybe a month yeah. or two we've never been to the tampa bay rv show either so we thought you know that would be something fun to do yeah. uh, and i think by that time we'll have a little bit more of an idea of what our rhythm is and for sure she'll be older she'll be more interactive and um kind of more uh in tune with what's going on around her it'll be exciting i think a lot of our friends are actually going to be around that area at that time yeah. so i think the mortons are going to be maybe getting back from alaska around then um they had mentioned they wanted to go to the tampa rv show and uh, maybe jason and ray the getaway couple they might come to florida so if we could somehow meet up with all of them and travel and obviously introduce the new nomad to the group that would be so much fun and be a great way for us to kind of get out there again and get back in our full timing rhythm. Yeah, it has been great to be at the RV park though, because even that has disconnected us from the stationary life idea. Mm -hmm. And we've really started to get yes. back into the rhythm of what actual RV life is again. Yes, like back in that like RV mentality, just even being in a campground surrounded by other people that do what we do, kind of just that routine of RV life yeah. again feels natural. It feels like we're back in our groove again. And in the community, like you yes. were touching on, you know. So, Definitely. but we are about to pull up to my mom's house. So let's get this baby shower rolling. Uh, we probably won't film too much inside there, but I might give you a few sneak peeks. Yeah, we'll probably be a little bit distracted. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who sent us stuff from the registry. We never expect that, but we do appreciate it, and it means the world to us. And we have gotten some of the most thoughtful oh, gifts. I mean, some of the most beautiful quilts I have ever seen. Made by hand. And they were yes. just awesome. It's just just amazing and it like means the world to us to think that someone thought of us and spent that much time creating this for us and for our family and so it's it's not surprising at all because we know the vibe tribe is amazing um, but we're always impressed by your talent and skill <laughs> and compassion all right let's get to this baby shower <laughs> Thanks again, y'all, for tuning in today. But I have to admit, I made a major Instagram fail happen today. This video was inspired by a few answers to our Instagram story I posted out there yesterday. But I realized that it was 24 hours later 
that I went to check to see who made each comment and the story was gone and I had no access to the answers. So I deeply apologize. I wasn't able to shout out everyone who gave a helpful answer for this video today. I guess I'll have to do it next time. Thanks again for watching though, y'all. It was a lo fun, long day, but now it is time to chill out and get comfy and not do much more. We'll see y'all next time, later on.